Welcome back, Hookaholics. Better late than never. June 11th. So this showed up at the store, or at the door today. So uh, it's not from the store. This is at my front door. Stay with me, and we're going to see what's in this June's Mystery Tackle Box Elite. tackle box showed up at my front step today uh, this is the June edition of the elite box uh, from mystery tackle box shop Carl's um, if you're interested in these I always leave my link or the link to uh, mystery tackle box down below uh, along with some other brand links uh, for different packages that I've gotten not all are great it's always a buyer beware thing but so far in all of my package deals all my um, subscription uh, boxes I have to say, Mystery Tackle Box um, at least has been stable, has been honest, and has never let me down. They show up relatively on time, uh, you know, mail delivery issues aside, uh, they ship out relatively at the right time, um, and they've never ceased to honor whatever happened. So if there was a bait missing, I've had contacted Mystery Tackle Box support and promptly had that missing bait sent to me. So, uh, and this has been an, an occurrence once or twice in the past um, where the box was damaged and something was missing or they forgot to put it in and something was missing and they replaced the bait, no, no hassle, no, no mess, no fuss. It was uh, really, really um, honorable that they did that. So that their customer service quality is bar none. We're gonna see what came in mine. So uh, as always, I don't open these. This just came in the mail and I got home from work. It's a rainy day, so I figure why not? Let's crack into it and uh, see what we got. It's not an extremely heavy box, so I don't know. We might not get a really pricey uh, thing. Okay, so we got baits on top, literature below, Dibble Digest. Holy crap, there's a lot of cards in here. Got four pieces of literature. What's inside card? That's the brass tax. As always, I uh, list the prices, the bait, and the timestamp for where my where in this video I will be talking about each individual product and this way if you are look down below in the expanded view uh, hit that little triangle drop down menu and you'll see the list of all the baits if there's something that catches your eye you can click on that timestamp and it'll bring you right to the uh, the section of the video where that bait is shown um, we got our Dibble Digest fishing buddy checklist that's pretty nice nifty a um, couple things uh, the Basquatch film flipping and pitching that's very good. I have a flipping and pitching Quantum's reel uh, on a very cool rod specifically for that. It's great because it's got that switch that allows the, um, the, thumb, the thumb lock to actually depress and stay open. So I can pitch and flip my baits just by using the thumb lever rather than actually have to leave it open and, and, and cast a, you know free spooling. A little bit quicker control. Um, <laughs> and fishing with Becca has two pages on here um, panfish walleye trout fishing universal fishing tips inshore fishing saltwater and five kayak tips um, all in this little pamphlet so there's a lot of good information there and uh, showcasing one of the YouTube influencers um, uh, out there uh, that's not bad lore categories so we've got a Guggen's catch smart by catch Co They've got your go-to lures, your reaction lures, your twitch lures, your muscle baits, and your finesse fishing categories. So they've got a little category list. Maybe that's what this is going to be. Maybe this is going to be one of those boxes where they actually list, um, you know, five basic fishing styles, techniques, um, and then they're going to leave a bait for each one of those. So that's pretty cool. All right, we'll see that. See if that pans out because that that'd be an interesting way. To, uh, to put a box together for a month. That's something I haven't seen before. Um, normally Catch Co. and Mystery Tackle Box always has a good dynamic uh, set of baits in each box for the different water columns, the different types of water clarity you might find. Um, so maybe this is another way to package a box together for the average angler and uh, uh, 
Oh, wow, this is a... Is that a sticker? I think this is a decal. I really do. I think this is a really cool decal. So it looks like you got the five styles as they listed them. And this little, like, peel-off this uh, decal by CatchCo. Catch Smart decal. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so starting with our what's in the box, we'll start with the highest priced item and I'll work our way through down to the bottom. Um, as always, there's Terminal Tackle at the bottom, of course, the cheapest item. But we have two baits off the top, which are JDM baits that it's actually from a brand that I do respect. Lucky Craft. We have the uh, Hagani. Lucky Craft Hagani. I know what this is. I think that's this one right here. Yes. Uh, plate silent sound cut Hagani is a lipless bait right there crack it open so this weighs let's see if we got a weight on this um, I love when they have everything in JDM Japanese and I don't speak Japanese so I can't find any information sinking 20 grams sinking lipless crankbait It's a little lipless crankbait. These are really good vertical jigging off the boat, um, the way they're designed. Uh, right? 70 PS. So you've got this bright red face, 3D eyes, and a shiny shimmering silver. And like I said, this with this line tie being here, I mean, obviously you can fish it this way and it's going to rattle back and forth, but vertical jigging this, letting it shimmy down and come back up that is uh you can just see the flash just doing that that's that's definitely going to catch eyes uh, of a lot of fish gives you that typical minnow shiner uh you know appeal with that bright shiny silver great for clear water or you know stained slightly stained water after the rain we've had today i'm sure the lakes the uh the inlets are all silted up and kind of cloudy certainly it's long overdue. We were in a heat wave and a bit of a drought. So that's $14.99. Um, not bad. It's a weighty bait. Like I said, that's pretty cool. So that's your top to bottom uh, water column right there. Uh, definitely something that I would put into, if we're talking about these five basic styles, I'd put that into the reaction bait uh, more than anything. Uh, Lucky Craft Silent Fat BDS Crankbait. So the second Lucky Craft, this one, $3 cheaper at $11.99. $14.99 .99 for the lipless, $11.99 for this little square bill crankbait. All right, so this one here is in Peacock. It's a floating 2-inch, 3 eighths of an ounce, and it goes 1 to 2 feet. So Peacock. Doesn't look like a Peacock bass, but it's definitely Peacock. Green. Uh, bright green, dark green on the back, transitions down to a brilliant yellow, and it's got a little bit of an orange uh, chin underneath there, underneath the, uh, the chartreuse yellow body. Fat CBDS, one to two feet. So this is really cool for your subsurface, not necessarily deep diving, but it's not a topwater popper or floating bait or walking bait. It's just that slight subsurface. This is something... Those surface to two and a half, three foot are what I use whenever there's a little bit of wind on it. If it's not really gusting, but you're getting ripples across the water, or like today with it raining, if you're out there in the rain and you're getting that peckles uh, of just water droplets on top, I like to go to these like shallow, just subsurface wake baits or even crankbaits like this that are just a foot or so underneath the surface of the water um, because obviously the ripples are going to store a lot of things. And seeing this kind of going across that ripple backdrop it definitely triggers fish, catches them, brings them up for sight fishing, or fish that are sight fishing, I should say. Not for us anglers, sight fishing. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Three-eighths of an ounce, that's a light eight grams, I think. I think, conversions, I don't know. I'm not really good at conversions. Uh, eight and a half grams-ish. Um, not bad, not bad. I like that, too. Again, good for windy, slightly windy conditions, breezy, chop on the water. Um, fishing this, you know, Especially if it's been hot, it's rain, and they've, they've started to go back, especially post-spawn, when they're backing off down into deeper water, out of the shallows. They don't need to be up sunning all the time. Their fry's already gone. Um, so this is something to go to. I like that. I like that this time of year. Uh, number three, 
Jenko, another Jenko. Remember, we got our uh, trap line rip knocker, which was the line through bait, and I explained a little tip. If you still have that out there, I know Juggalo Fishing Posse, he had his that he got in the box. Um, I'm going to leave that card up here. One of these two sides, I forget which side it is. Camera left. Um, I'm going to leave the card up there for that video on how to make sure you don't lose that bait. Uh, you might lose the hook, but you won't lose the bait. And there's a little trick that I just decided to, to share um, because, quite frankly, it's a really cool bait. It's a lipless crankbait, but it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have the hooks attached. It has a line through system. So you can throw any treble hook you want, um, any real hook you want. If you want to th throw a single hook on the back end of it, you could. If you wanted to throw, um, you know, a treble hook, which I actually do like, the treble hooks that they sell with the tiny little blades on the end, little flash blade treble hooks, I put that on it and I do my little trick and then the trap lines up the, up the line. And the good thing about the trap line rip knocker by Jenko is when the fish gets pinned on the hook, the bait itself, the lure goes up out of the way. It doesn't add extra leverage for that hook to, uh, to bend out or be pulled out or wrenched out by having the bait inside the fish's mouth. It gives you that freedom of mobility and allows the hook to spin you know, 360 degrees because it's off of the actual bait itself. So you don't have uh, them the quite ability for them to thrash and kick. You get a little bit better hooks, hook up ratio. Uh, with that said, Jenko's bait for today is the Fishing CD2 Square Bill Crankbait. So there's another Square Bill by Jenko. Uh, this one's in the Gizzard Shad color. I like that. It's sort of a purple, teal, green, and baby blue with a little orange on the bottom. All right, Gizzard Shad color. I don't know how Gizzard Shad that is. Gizzard Shad to me is a lot more silver and less... Less green and purple, but uh, what have you, we'll take this out. It does have a knocker in it. Nice single heavy thud. That's good if you like those one knockers. That's cool. 65 millimeters, three quarters of an ounce. And what is the, uh, do they have diving characteristics on this? Let's see, three quarters of an ounce, 65 mm. Um, uh, Manufactured in Concord, Kentucky. I got a friend from Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> but this one's from Concord. Made in China. Okay. <laughs> Chenko Fishing is located in Concord. This is manufactured out of China, of course. Um, it doesn't give me a depth of dive, so I'll have to look that up. If I can find it, I will uh, definitely list it in the description down below. Um, a bill that small, I'm going to say like three, maybe five, six feet. Uh, probably at most, but we'll see. Uh, I do like that. I like that that heavy thin thud one knocker. That's pretty cool. Shad spot, good paint jobs as always. Sturdy hot, you know, hard, heavy duty hard paint, which is good. It'll last. Um, yeah, it's, it's got it. Doesn't list it, does it? Top of the line action, yada yada yada. Nope, doesn't list a diving depth. So I'll look that up if I can find it. Um, I'll research and try to give it to you. That was $9.99. Next, for $7.99 from Castaic, there we go, now we're talking top water. So we got a Castaic's CP9, uh, CP60 popper. So we got a little top water popper. Obviously, we know that's going to be on the top. Uh, this is Bloody GM. B L D Y G M. I don't know what the GM stands for. Obviously, oh, maybe Gold Minnow. Because uh, it definitely does have like a minnow-esque sort of uh, scale pattern on the side. It's got a red feathered treble. I always like that. I love multicolored, brilliant, uh, a little bit of a little bit of white marabou flash in there, silvery marabou flash. I like that. It is an almost see-through. It's a translucent, amberish silver color because it's amber brown on the you know root beer on the top, transitioning down to the silver. It's almost a pearl clear, uh, almost. On the bottom, really cool eyes, a little shad dot there, and the red gills with a red mouth and the red fe uh, feather treble. 60 millimeters, 3 eighths of an ounce for a popper. That's pretty cool. Again, this is $7.99. Um, I've never had problems with Castaic baits. I, they're pretty well manufactured. They're not a super expensive bait or something. If you know, you're know you on a budget, it's a good good company to look to. They they hold up very well, and they're not inexpensive if you do lose one to replace. So that's pretty cool. Um, not much.
much bad I can say about that. Actually, it does have a little bit of blue to it, too. So, yeah, Bloody GM. I like that color scheme. I really do. That's interesting. And that red feather treble it really does make the bait. So I'll give them that. Again, top water, top of the water column. So we've got our reaction baits. We've had our, uh, let's see, what did they list? Okay, they had the go-tos. I would say this time of year, a go-to would be like that popper. It's something that, um, you know, you know you can start your early mornings. You got bugs coming out, uh, falling off the trees. Top water is a good bite. Uh, during the early morning and the late evening, of course, high sun, I wouldn't go for that. Uh, reaction baits, we have that jerk bait, that, that red one. Uh, twitch, twitch, I might look at that also as that popper, because that's also a, a sort of a twitch bait, the pop, pop, pop. Uh, all right, so we have muscle and finesse left. So let's see if we got some, some nice muscle baits in here. We'll, we'll find out. Next up is Roadside Minnows RM Apex Swim Bait. Roadside Minnows. So we got our little little paddle tail swim bait. I have gotten Roadside Minnow stuff before. And that is a really cool company. If I do remember correctly, and I hope I am not uh, misremembering, but Roadside Lures, I believe, is what... Uh, I was so graciously given a few really cool uh, baits, small micro baits, um, by my, my good friend over there in, uh, in the Great Lakes region. So, uh, <laughs> that's a really cool swim bait. It's got this flat bottom square paddle tail. You know, it's not your heart, sh it's not a heart tail. It's really kind of like a blocky briquette, you know. Um, really cool, durable plastic. I will say that it's it's a very dense plastic. So uh, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. So tie on tournament grade and revolutionize your fishing today. From roadside minnows. There's the color on this. I can't remember. They never really list colors. They should. They gotta put colors on it. Uh, Cedar Rapids, Michigan. Michigan. Michiganders. Um, fish in the mi the mitten. So uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, yeah, man, you, you gave me the roadside minnows and when they were first starting out, and those baits are freaking awesome. They're phenomenal. Uh, he uses a lot of them for his ice fishing because they're really tiny baits. I use them for my little uh, you know, stream and pond and backwater fishing, and I've caught some really nice uh, you know, creek chubs and all kinds of different things. Um, so that's really cool, man. Appreciate that. So, yep, Good Harbor, Cedar, Michigan. Awesome. All right, roadside minnows. I support that. I support that. And they want, for those roadside, one more time, $4.99 for those swim baits. And you get a full pack of two, four, five. Five in a pack. That ain't bad. Ain't bad for four bucks. Or five bucks. Uh, Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk mousehead jig. All right, now we're getting down to brass tacks. So we've got these old-fashioned, quarter-ounce, old-fashioned... Mouse heads. So these are like arrowhead jigs, um, but they kind of like got a flat gill. Like the arrowheads were really cool, pointy, sharp uh, jig heads for fish and swimming. Um, these do the same thing, but they combine that nice razor sharp cutting through the water with a flat bottom for kind of like, you know, bottom fishing, bouncing, etc. Uh, quarter ounce. I might just keep this in there because I might just throw this in the, uh, in the giveaway. So we've got a mouse head quarter ounce jig in white and chartreuse. That's pretty cool. I love white and chartreuse. Um, it's never failed me. A lot of people say, oh, you can't fish white. I've never had problems. And you can always counter the white brilliance with a, another color, a green pumpkin trailer or a black blue trailer. You don't always have to constantly duplicate the color in the skirting with the color of your soft plastic trailer. You can complement the trailer with a, a shocking change of color on your skirting material, or vice versa, you can complement the, the, the skirting on, the, on the, the, the jig head and its pulsation by allowing a color that will actually make this skirting feel or look from a distance either more bulky or a lot less shocking. You can actually mute down tones based on using a different color interior trailer or you can give a bigger profile, a more dimensional look 
by using a darker trailer on the inside of a lighter exterior um, jig head uh, skirt. I mean, a lot of people don't say this, a lot of people don't think this. They're always like, well, my skirt's red and orange, so I'm gonna use a red and orange rubber, uh, you know, plastic trailer. Or I have black blue on my skirt, so I'm gonna use a black blue trailer. Well, if I have black blue on my skirt, I'm gonna use a white or a chartreuse or a red trailer because then it looks like the black blue gill pattern is going to be bleeding because I have a red interior trailer. So it looks like it's wounded. And every time it flutters, it sees, oh, the scales are there and then there's red. Ooh, maybe it's bleeding, maybe it's injured. I think beyond and outside of the box, no pun intended, uh, when, I, when I connect my trailers to my jig head specifically, like, again, going back to fish in the mitten, I sent them up the jackhammer in that very, you know, hard to get and also uh, so wanted um, a fire crawl pattern that I just happened to be lucky enough to come across a few, a handful. I gave him one and I gave him one of the the, uh, the trailers, a uh, red and white, or well, white with a red tail grub that I've always put on my, on my red uh, jigs because... That red tail still emulates the red in the in the uh, pattern of the skirting, but that white adds dimension and flair, and it, it's, it lets the red uh, skirting material flutter against a backdrop that gives you, it, it looks like it's more moving, like, you know, in the, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but that's just my, my take on it. That's in your hearing right now. All right, so that, that Thunderhawk mouse head is for $3.99. Two to go. We'll get this done, because I'm already, I think, pretty late <laughs> and I don't really want to keep grinding on uh, next to last we have the smart baits Fiona finesse worms so here's that finesse so finally worms now this is something I haven't gotten so we've got smart baits color changing plastic um, this is the plastic that's thermodynamically changes colors at room temperature this looks like a natural earth tone earthworm tone so you got this like you know typical pinkish earthy tone. I'm going to hold this in my hand while I go through this because maybe my hands are hot enough. Oh, they are. My hands just might be hot enough to uh, to trigger the reaction. $3.99. You do get a pack of, I want to say five, three, four, five, considering the one in my hand. Um, and when the water is hot, they change to chartreuse. So they go from the pink, as you can see here in the package, to the chartreuse. So in cold, it's already it's changing because of the temperature in the room here. Um, so they start out with like a natural earthy tone and they, they switch over in hot water to a chartreuse. This is something really good. Uh, again, it's, it's totally gimmicky, yes. Uh, you're, the, the good part about it is even though it's gimmicky, it still has a value. It has a little bit of value intrinsic to it because when I look at this, I don't look at it like, oh, cool, it changes color and water temperature. I look at it like... I've bought, I've been given five baits in chartreuse, and at the same time for free, they gave me five baits in a natural, uh, you know, nightcrawler color. So I've got a pink natural and a chartreuse all for the price of one. It gives me the, the idea that I'm getting ten baits for the price of five. Um, and that's just how I try to look at it, to kind of justify it. Again, um, it is a little bit gimmicky, but... I'm definitely going to use it. And these are the first worms I've gotten from Shark, uh, from Smart Color. Um, Smart Baits have always got given the, the like the Gobi or, you know, this little, uh, well, I didn't have this one. This is kind of like the old, uh, it's kind of a craw, kind of a, I forget what it was, uh, cowboy style hooked uh, kind of thing. But I've always gotten the Gobi, a lot of Gobies and a lot of smaller crawfish um, creature bait patterns. $3.99 for this. So for four bucks, you get five worms. Count it as ten if you want. That's not bad. And last, like I said, terminal tackle for $1.80 is a two-pack of four-aught mustad, super sharp, love mustad. Um, these are the ultra lock soft plastics hooks. So they're an offset worm. Um, but the cool thing about these EWG styles, if I can get it out here. I hate these freaking winglet packets. I wonder if this is, okay, it's so piece. What I like about these, this style of hook, it is a pretty light wire, all things considered for a four-aught. Um, and I will show you, it is it is a light wire for a four-aught. You can, you can see it, it flexes quite a bit. 
but this kickback Z, this little Z pattern that they have, it actually adds enough of a hook here to pin your plastics so they don't go sliding down the hook. Because we all know it's, it's just horrendous when you end up and your plastics end up twisted and bunched up and balled at the hook and you're constantly having to retie it up, you know, pull it back up and straighten it out and then cast again uh, with every hook set. That's not, that's not uh, you know, wanted. You, you know, it's not very fun. So having that really sharp, abru abrupt hook there, uh, curvature, that helps to pin enough of the meat of the plastic up here to prevent it from sliding down. I always, well, I don't always, but most often than not, I do add a little drop of super glue um, just to hold my soft plastic on there. Uh, if I'm, you know, if I'm using a very good quality, especially like an Elastec bait that's going to last and last all day, I'll try to do that. All right, so it's been like 20 odd minutes. So let's wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, real quick recap. The two pack of Mustad hooks, $1.80. The Smart Baits Worms, $3.99 for, uh, for five of them. I think five. Um, Thunderhawk's Mousehead Jig. I hope somebody gets some good use out of that. $3.99. I just have way too many jigs as it stands. I have a whole box of jig heads. Um, Roadside Minnows, the RM Apex Swim Bait. They're awesome. Again, good shout out to uh, Fish in the Mitten. $4.99. Uh, Castaic's Popper for $7.99. The Jenko Trapline Square Bill Cla uh, Crankbait, that one is $9.99. And shout out again to Juggalo Fish and Posse. Um, I hope you, you have great success or had great success with that bait. I hope you didn't lose it yet. Um, Lucky Crafts Silent, the Fat Crankbait BDS, $11.99. And then that lipless Lucky Craft Hagini, or Hagini uh, for $14.99. So all totaled, uh, eight baits, not bad for June, and it did, did cover all the water column. You got your worms, uh, Texas rigged, uh, you've got your uh, jig head down there, you've gotten your top water popper, your subsurface, your mid-column crankbait, and your uh, mid-column swim baits. I think that was an awesome, awesome box awesome box for June. That is that is a box that really does do the height of the summer fishing season. So uh, I gotta commend MTB for putting that together. I hope everybody out there who got the elites or even the pros got a similar style package. Uh, maybe not all the same baits. It might, you know, got some better baits for your region, but I hope it was uh, as well-rounded as this one seems to be. So I'm very pleased. You tell me in the comments, was this a good box? Would this be a kind of box that you would like to see if you uh, subscribe to MTB? Um, as always, for me to you, thank you for viewing and spending some time with me. A little more time today than normal. But uh, as always, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.